Hello everybody, welcome back again to your channel Eco Engineering. Uh, in the previous video, we learned how to send an order by using MQL5 language. But in this video, I'm going to teach you how to modify an open order and, for example, how to trail the stablas or how to change the take profit based on the conditions uh, that we want. Uh, if you remember, in the MQL4, we had this predefined function named order select. And by using this order select, we used to modify our orders. But here in MQL4, alongside order select, we have another option, another function named order select by ticket. And uh, they both do the same thing, but in the order select, we select the order by its symbol. But here with open order select by ticket, we select an order by its ticket. What is important here is that alongside with this two predefined function, we have position select function and position select by ticket function. They are very similar, but here in MQL5, we should notice that uh, what's different between position and order. Actually, position, we call those orders that are already fulfilled and opened, and they are run. So when an order is fulfilled, we don't call it order anymore. We call it position. But when an order is in the pending mode, like uh, sell stop or sell limit or buy stop or buy limit, we call them order. So uh, basically, orders are not fulfilled yet, but positions are those order orders which already are fulfilled. So by knowing that, we continue. Uh, we I usually use position select by ticket because I don't want to select the position by the symbol, I prefer to uh, select them by the ticket. And if we use this position select by the ticket function and enter the ticket number of a position here, we can have access to all data of this position with the corresponding ticket. How we can do that? Here, by using, after just running this line of code, and then using position get double and inserting the position stop loss inside of the parentheses, we can have access to the stop loss of this position. And if inside uh, these parentheses we insert uh, position take profit, we can have access to the take profit of the, the selected order. Or, for example, by position value, if we insert position value volume here, we can have access to the volume of, the, uh, volume of this position. Uh, and it's very simple, as we can see here. We just like or we just write down position get double, and here inside the parentheses we have the following options like stop loss, swap, take profit, volume, price current, and uh, to have access to the string uh, parameters, we just use position get string, and inside the parentheses we can just insert position symbol, position common, position external ID, like we can see them here. And to have access to the integer parameters, we can just use position get integer. And inside the parentheses, we just use position ticket to uh, return the tickets of the position, or position time to return the time that the position were open, and many other parameters that we can have access to them. For example, the magic, the reason, ticket. And if you just, just double click on for example, position get integer and press F1, then you can have access to the help. And all of these parameters are already explained. So the first thing that we do, we run this part of the code, position select by ticket. We select the ticket and then we would have access to the stop loss of this position and its take profit and its value and everything just by using this predefined functions. Just Another important thing is normally we do not enter uh, the ticket number manually here. If we are using a C trade class, as I taught you in the previous lecture, by using trading, trading is a C trade structure, and that result order, it automatically returns us the ticket of order that is already fulfilled. So instead of just entering the uh, ticket here, we put trading dot result order. So now we just open the meta editor. This is the previous code that we had. I just delete this alert here. 
So I just briefly explained what we did in the previous lecture. In the previous lecture, we used this sharp include and trade uh, backslash trade dot mqh to have access to the include, and then we defined uh, a trading class uh, uh, which it's similar to the C trade class, and we used 2G so we uh, would understand that we can use any type of naming that we would like, uh, and then we use this trading dot sell order to send a sell order, and now we want to modify this sell order. We want to modify it three times. So uh, to do that, I use a for loop, and I want it to be like int i, and initial value is 0. As, as long as i is less than 3, I want this for loop run. So I say i plus plus, and like that, I just delete this part too. Here, we want to do modification. Before this for loop, I want to save the ticket of this order. So I define a variable named ticket, and it is equal to trading dot result order. This function trading dot result order return as the ticket of the of open order, and we save it here because we need this ticket, the, the ticket of the open order. Here in the for loop, each time we select this order by its ticket. Now it is a position, it's not order anymore because it's already run. So we say position select by ticket and inside the parentheses we just enter this ticket number here. We close it. After selecting it, I want to have this slip function here because I want to see the results. I don't want this for loop just run in a, in a milliseconds. I just want to wait and see the result each period. So then here I use trading dot position modify. And the first parameter is the ticket. We can just simply copy paste this ticket here for the first parameter, but as we selected the position here in the previous line, so we have access to the position ticket. And uh, I use posi position get double to have access to, sorry, position get uh, integer, integer to have access to the ticket of the selected position. And then new stablas. What should be the new stablas? The new stablas should be 100 points higher than previous stablas. Previous stablas would be order get double stablas. This return previous stablas plus 100 point comma. And now what do you want be the new take profit? I want the new take profit be 200 points below the previous take profit. The previous take profit would be position get double. Actually, here we should use position get double too. Position get double, not order. And so this one would be position stop loss. Position get double and previous take profit minus 200 points. Here we go. And I want to have, after that, I want to have alert that the modification is done. And close it. We compile it. We have error. It says the slip should be by, capi by capital S. And again, I compile it. We don't have any error. Uh, we go to MetaTrader. Here, this is our, the, our script, order dash order underline send. If I drag and drop it here, a no order is opened, a cell order, it's modified. Again, it's modified, and every time we see it here, and again, it's modified for the third time. And each time, the stop loss will go higher by 100 points, and take profit would go down by 200 points, and we see that it is 
it would be modified. We can do it for buy positions too. And more importantly, I want you to do it for a pending order by using order select. Actually, you should just change all positions to order, then it would be done easily. Here, instead of position select by ticket, we use order select by ticket and trading that instead of position modify, we use order modify. Here would be mar uh, order get integer, order get double, order get double again. It's very simple. I want you to, as a practice, just do it too. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe our channel. I hope you have a good day. Goodbye.